Hi, welcome back to Linear Algebra. Let's talk about matrices. This is lecture 3A, the first in several short lectures that will be part of week three. Let's switch to the slides and get started here. All right. Before we actually start talking about the matrices themselves, let's go back and review a little bit of history. I think I mentioned some of this in one of the introductory videos. Who invented matrices and when? Well, interestingly, not, not so many years ago, they discovered that there was a Chinese textbook that was written in about the second century BC called the Nine Chapters on Mathematical Arts that actually contains a way to use a matrix to solve simultaneous equations. This also, by the way, means that they had uh, negative numbers, which is very interesting. There have been other interesting results on matrices, some of which were developed by Seki-san from uh, Seki Takakazu from uh, Japan, um, but we most commonly associate the work on matrices with Gottfried uh, Leibniz, who was um, a mathematician in the 17th century. But this means overall we're going to be learning techniques, uh, some of them going back as much as 2100 years. The basic idea of a matrix, it's a rectangular array of numbers and symbols and expressions um, arranged into rows and columns. So you can see here on the screen three examples. On the left there is a two column one row matrix which is also one way to write a vector. In the middle there is a two row and two column matrix which is square, two and uh, two and two are square. And you can see that in the upper left there's the, the entry A and then the upper right there's the entry B in the lower left, the entry C, and in the lower right, the entry D. So in the first one, we saw that entries in, in a matrix can be numbers. And in the second, we see that they can be variables here. They can be the variables A, B, C, D. They can also be even more complex mathematical expressions. And a matrix also doesn't have to be square. So you can look at the example on the right and see it's a three row, two column matrix, um, which is a mix of numbers and variables and mathematical expressions. Generalizing, this is an M by N matrix. It's got M rows and N uh, columns. You can see uh, we've numbered them. So we've given the, the, the matrix itself the variable name A. Usually we're going to write matrices using the capital letter A. Um, or capital B or, or what have you. Um, within that, then we'll use a small a or a small b correspondingly with subscripts to tell you which element we're talking about when we're talking about one specific element. So here I've written a equals left square bracket. So sometimes you'll see me write them with uh, square brackets. Sometimes you'll see me write them with uh, round brackets that are like giant parentheses. Um, if you look at this, you'll see that there are M rows, one, two, three, four, five, six, yada, 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 M, and N columns going left to right, one, two, three, four, five, yada, 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 yada N. So uh, you can see that they're labeled here, the, the first column on the left and the right, and the nth column on the right, the first row at the top and the mth row at the, at the, uh, the bottom. So the entry in the upper left, we call the one, one element. Um, sometimes, You'll see me write those, the element in the upper left, as being 0, 0 instead of 1, 1. Um, mathematicians usually use 1, 1, but, for, uh, but computer scientists often use uh, 0, 0, depending on the programming language you're talking about and, and the kind of problem you're trying to solve. So most of the time in this class, it's going to be 1, 1, but you know, keep an eye on it just to, be, just to be on the safe side. You can see I've circled in gold there the entry 1, 2. So we say that's the element 1, 2 of the matrix. Hope that's clear enough. Uh, on the right side, in the upper right, you can see I've also written vectors as both a column vector and a row vector with two different uh, 
notations in them, uh, or two different types of elements in them. The, the, uh, the column vector has numbers, uh, numeric entries, and the row vector has um, variables in it, A, B, and C, but it doesn't matter. Um, a vector you can generally write either in column or row format. Sometimes what you write matters, and we'll talk about that more as we go on during the semester. In particular, you saw in the video when I wrote out how to do dot matrix, the, the, sorry, the dot product of a couple of vectors that I wrote the first one going across and the second one going down. And there's a reason for that. We'll see when we talk about matrix multiplication shortly. All right, our first important kind of friendly matrix is what's called the identity matrix. The identity matrix, usually, I'm not even going to bother writing a subscript on it. I'll just write the letter I, the capital, the capital letter I. Um, but here on the screen for the moment, I've written I1, I2, I3, yada, 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 I, N. And what the identity matrix is, is it's a square matrix where the elements on the diagonal are all one and everything else is all zero. So it's maybe easiest to see with uh, I3 that's right there in the middle of the, of the screen. You can see that it's a three by three matrix and I11, the entry in the upper left, is one. I2, the entry in the, I22, the entry in the middle, is also one. And I33, the entry on the bottom right, is also one. And then the other elements are all zero. Um, by definition, I1 is uh, just a one by one matrix or a vector with one element in it that's just the number one. Um, and I2 is a two by two matrix with uh, one in the upper left and the lower right and zero in the other places. We can also write this, if we don't want to write out the whole thing, or um, any other matrix that only has entries along the diagonal, we can write it out as diag, uh, and then parentheses one, 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 one. That means to create a, uh, a matrix that is as long as the number of elements that you have there, and it should be square, and you put those entries along the diagonal, and then you put zero everywhere else. That's the basic idea of matrices, and we'll go on from here and we'll see some of the other characteristics of matrices in the coming videos. Remember everyone, stay safe, and I'll see you in the next video.